to my channel. So today's lookbook is going to be all about glasses and workwear. And Glasses USA actually sponsored this video, so I thought that this would be a great integration um, to combine workwear and glasses. And I have been wearing my glasses recently, and you guys have been asking me about them, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity. No, these glasses are not for trendy purposes. They actually are real glasses. I was just having a really hard time seeing. I was getting headaches. Things were blurry. I was trying to watch TV, and um, the subtitles, I couldn't read them, and I was like, okay, something's up. So I went and got my eyes checked, and it turns out I have an astigmatism in my left eye. And I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I got these glasses in the mail, I put them on and I actually cried because I was like, I can see. This is how everything is supposed to look. Oh my gosh, everything was so clear. Um, it was just the best feeling ever. So if you are having issues with your vision, I'd suggest going to get your eyes checked out because I mean, I didn't even realize, I think just because I'd been living with it for so long that I just... It was just, I was just used to it at that point. But yeah, glassesusa.com offers prescription glasses up to 70% off of the retail price, which is awesome. And they have over 4,000 styles to choose from, whether it be glasses, um, sunglasses. They also have designer like Armani, Gucci, Ray-Ban. These are actually my Celine ones, which I love. These are probably my favorite. They also come really inexpensive too. A basic pair with frame and lenses start at $30, so super affordable. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, I have some tips for you on how to wear glasses. If you guys do wear glasses, I have some tips for you. And I also have to show you um, some of the glasses that I got because you guys have been asking me in my vlogs where they're from um, and who makes them and what the um, what the name of them are because they're easy to find because there's so many glasses to choose from so I am going to tell you the name. So I'll start with these. These are by Celine and I will link this pair below at the top. This is the pair that I wear the most, um, that I get the most use out of. I just, I love them. I'm obsessed with them and they're really comfortable to wear. Then I have these and these are called Muse Modern. And they're this really pretty brown color. Kind of goes with all of my neutrals, my creams, and my tans. Um, this is a really nice pair to have as well. And this is actually in the lookbook at the end of the video. So these are nice. I think these kind of go nice with my hair. The black is really harsh on my hair. Um, but I don't care. I just love them so much. And this next pair is actually by Muse as well. And it's this really pretty kind of dark purple burgundy color. Um, kind of the same idea as this. It's kind of a thick length. These are a little bit darker. Then I got these, and you know what? These don't look great on my face because I have such a small face. It's called a Toto Magnus, I believe. Um, but I think they're kind of subtle. I mean, I think they're they're definitely a look, not something that I would grab every single day. I love my Chloe ones. This is also a pair that I grab all the time too. I love the pink. I think these are the ones I wear second most, but I love these. You guys have been asking a lot about these, and I like the gold on the edges here. GlassesUSA.com actually partnered up with Hilary Duff to create, I think she has over 80 styles on GlassesUSA.com, but um, her mission was kind of to empower women and make women feel good, so I love everything about this line, and you know, everything from the packaging, which is pink and really cute and girly, and they're actually pretty affordable. I think most of the glasses are around $100 from her line, and this is actually the Muse by Hilary Duff Marilyn clip-on, and they are sunglasses which is awesome and these actually pop off so then you can wear them just as regular glasses so you kind of get a two-in-one so um i do get a lot of use out of these because i do think the sunglass part is really cool you take off the sunglass clip on this goes with it so then you have an actual pair of really pretty um kind of like muddy pink glasses so those are some of the glasses that i'm going to be showing you in the video but i do have some tips for you guys on wearing glasses because just me i've been wearing them for about a month a month and a half now and i've kind of gathered some tips that work for me um so if you guys i'll put a timestamp here if you don't wear glasses um and you're, you're just not interested you can fast forward to the lookbook but it even works for sunglasses so don't think that this isn't for you if you don't wear glasses one thing i do when i'm putting my makeup on now is i have to put extra powder just setting powder right here on my nose so the part of my glasses they don't make an indention in my makeup and sometimes they do so in that case i always carry around a tiny beauty blender i know you can get them at sephora they're really small but i have a little case for it and i put it in my purse and whenever i need to take my glasses off or to take a photo or whatever i'm doing i can just beauty blend it out and it's back to normal so but what i, I like these glasses because these don't make an indention but then something you know, like this, these make an indention because of the little um, plastic things that go on your nose. So kind of, you know, be mindful if you are planning on taking them off during the day, maybe grab a pair like this that just kind of sits on the bridge of your nose. 
So tip number two is extra setting powder, and this goes for under my eyes. Um, and I always like to use a liquid concealer. I usually use creamy, but if I knew I'm gonna be taking my glasses off, I will use a liquid because a creamy will smear easier and a liquid kind of sets into your skin a little bit better. But since I do have hollow underneath my eyes, it creates a shadow. Um, so I just do a little bit extra concealer because the magnification really magnifies the shadow under my eyes. So extra setting powder, We'll cover it up and kind of make it more of an illusion and less of a shadow under my eye. Number three is I have learned to not put a ton of eyeshadow on because it magnifies your eyes and it just makes everything look 10 times bigger. So if I'm going to do a shadow, it's going to be so subtle, but I will normally do a little bit of eyeliner, but I always found that kind of working around my glasses works better. So I'll do more of a dramatic lip or maybe a little bit more contouring and kind of leave my eyes alone and maybe just do a mascara. Number four is I say do have a couple of classic pair and a couple of trendy pairs of sunglasses um maybe something like a cat eye or something that's like a bold color on glassesusa.com they have these miu miu makes the coolest glasses um again very trendy very colorful but i do think it's cool to have that one trendy pair whenever you are dressed kind of athleisure um kind of street style i think adding something cool makes a huge difference number five is i think that thicker frames um, give you more of a trendy look. So if I am going out and I'm wearing something super casual or something trendy, I'll throw on a thick sun, a thick frame glass like this one. Glass, glasses. <laughs> I'll throw on thick frame glasses, and um, I don't know. I think it gives me more, definitely more of a trendy look, um, rather than something that is super unnoticeable like this but also you know this can give you more of a subtle look, which you might be going for as well. I think it just really depends on what you're wearing. Which actually brings me to my next tip. If you are wearing crazy accessories or you've got like a lot going on, maybe opt for something like this, something a little bit less noticeable. If that is the look you're going for. If you are wanting to be super extra that day, then that is fine too. More power to you. I have seen some looks that have a lot going on that I'm like, okay, that looks pretty cool. But it really just depends where you're going, what your setting is going to be. And the last tip is that matchy matchy is okay. I think it's okay to match your glasses to your outfit. And you'll see in the lookbook, I actually match these glasses to the dress that I'm wearing. I was wearing this really pretty brown camely colored dress and I think that this frame matched perfectly and it doesn't look, you know, people say like, don't matchy matchy, don't do that. But I think um, when you are matching an accessory such as your glasses that's so close to your necklace, then necklace, neckline, no, top. Am I okay? <laughs> Brain just like went in a different direction. Okay, those are my tips. If you guys have tips for glasses, let me know because I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure out wearing glasses and um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of learning as I go. So if you are an expert pro eyeglass wearer, put your tip below. Let me know. Don't hold out on us. You have to share your tips. <laughs> so number one rule when you come to my channel, you have to share your tips. Okay, let's get into the lookbook. I won't make it easy for you now.
that I showed you and I hope this answers your question of where they're from who makes them because I've been getting questions non-stop about my glasses but before I forget glassesusa.com actually has a virtual mirror where you can upload a photo of yourself and try on glasses which is what I did um that's actually how I picked these out and you know there were some that I liked that I didn't end up getting because I could see myself right there and I was like okay those don't look good on my face um so yeah it's a really nice tool to have so you don't spend a lot of money and then you're stuck with something that doesn't look good on your face it's all in the description box and there will be a special offer in the description box for you as well from glassesusa.com so I just want to thank you guys for that it's really sweet I hope you guys have a great holiday holiday week and eat lots of food enjoy your time with family and i hope you love it i'm going to and i'll be vlogging while i'm home of course you get to see my family my sisters but until then i'll see you guys next time Bye.